Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proven, he will receive the crown of life that he promised to those who loved him. No one is experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God. For God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin. And when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers and sisters. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. Blessed the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. When I say my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. When cares abound within me, your comfort gladdens my soul. Blessed the man you instruct, O Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand? How many weaker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the, five, for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel today ends with the question of Jesus to his disciples. Do you still not understand? And Jesus asked this probably out of desperation, out of frustration, because despite the words and the works of Jesus, Despite the many things that Jesus taught and did that they witnessed, the disciples still fail to understand. But Jesus did not give up on them. Kahit na hindi na unawaan ng mga alagad niya, Si Jesus, sa kabila ng kanyang mga itinuro at mga ginawa na kanilang nasaksihan, hindi sinabi ni Jesus, ayoko na sa inyo. Hindi sila ipinagtabuyan ni Jesus dahil hindi sila makaunawa. Jesus understands 
that they are unfinished products. They are works in progress. And because of that, Jesus continues to patiently teach, train, and form His disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, we are no different from the disciples of Jesus. None of us are unfinished products. We are all works in progress. And that is why even St. James in our first reading today, as he talks of temptation, exhorts us not to allow ourselves to be deceived. St. James knew that no one is really free from temptation, that we all struggle. And the mere fact that we struggle means that we are not yet perfect, that we have our own share of blindness and deafness. And so the church is not a community of the perfect. The church is a community of people who are works in progress. There are times that we doubt God, that we lack trust in Him. There are times that we approach Him even though we are not worthy. There are times when we easily fall into temptation and commit sin. We are unfinished products. We are works in progress. And Jesus perfectly understands that. And we hope that we also understand that too. Because once we understand that I am not yet a finished product, that I am a work in progress, that I need continuous learning and formation, I also understand that my brothers and sisters are like me. And so we become patient to one another. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, in our society today, there are many people who have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. They have minds, but they do not understand. Napakaraming nakakakita naman, pero ayaw tingnan ng mabuti kung ano yung mabuti at tama. Nakakarinig naman, pero pinipidi lang ang pinakikinggan at hindi ang buong katotohanan. May isip naman, pero hindi nakakaunawa o ayaw baguhin ang paniniwala. But we must not easily judge them as we must not easily judge ourselves. Because the fact is, everyone is undergoing a process. Lahat tayo nasa proseso. Lahat tayo may pinagdaraanan upang tayo'y maging ganap ng mga Kristiyano at ganap na tagasunod ni Jesus. And so we must be patient with one another. We must help each other to see to hear and to understand because we are all unfinished products. We are all works in progress. And like Jesus, may, be, may we be patient with one another because Jesus never gives up on us. Jesus continues to teach, continues to train, continues to form us. My dear brothers and sisters, today, 
when you encounter a person who irritates you. Kapag may isang taong makakasalamuha tayo ngayon na maiinis tayo dahil hindi niya naintindihan ang ating sinabi o hindi niya nakita ang mga bagay sa kanyang paligid, ang katotohanan, o hindi niya narinig ang ating iniutos o binilin, tandaan natin, hindi naman tayo magkaiba. May mga pagkakataon din na tayo din hindi nakakakita, hindi nakakarinig, at hindi nakakaunawa. We are all works in progress. Let us be patient with one another as Jesus has been very patient in teaching and forming us. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that we may give our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us 
and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, uh-huh.